What's going on everybody? Gabe back again, aka your senpai, with another unboxing. This kit, of course, was picked up over at robotkai.com. I used my own promo code, Senpai Hobby, for 10% off, and so can you. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the architect, and I believe it's by Quashing. I think that's the company. And I ended up getting the Iwata branded version. There are two versions. There's a unbranded, and then there's this one that I think somewhere on it it says Iwata. I got it because it was the same cost and I didn't really care. This is supposed to be a spaceship, but it looks like a giant airbrush. I will say I was, and it actually looks like it's from Dream Gear, but it also has quashing down here in the corner. I don't know, one of the two. I don't think these are limited because there seems to be a ton of them, though people ended up selling out of them fairly quickly. I think Robot Kai was the cheapest place that I ended up finding with it. Uh, New Type had it and they were about $10 more, I believe. I was expecting this to be in a bigger box. We'll take a look at it. I was impressed with a few uh, videos that I saw. It comes with its own LEDs. It's USB powered. It seems to be pretty cool. So we'll take a look at it, see what comes in the box. And then at some point I'll throw it together and we'll go from there whether it'll be painted or not who knows so let's jump down the table and take a look what comes in the box all right so here we are with the one 3000 scale architect advanced research colonizer special edition and as i said it says dream gear up here but also it says quashing down here so i am not sure on this side over here you get some information you get the some shots of the different leds you do actually get a base with it which is kind of cool special edition limited premium parts which is uh, some panels i think they go over here that say iwata on them leds all throughout the kit and over on this side you get some more information a couple more shots. I do like the fact that this does not take batteries, but it's USB powered. All right, let's get off the lid and take a look inside. All right, we get a box. We're going to put that over there. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, six baggies, a styrene sheet with all your LEDs and stuff in there an instruction booklet, and I'm going to assume that this is a USB cord. All right, taking a look at the instruction manual here, we'll just kind of go through it pretty quick. It's decently sized. So you have all the runner layout, you have all your information. It does seem like this is in English and also Chinese. You get the base assembly, you get the basically core assembly of what looks like the ship, laying out the LEDs in there, page five and six, seven and eight, Shows you the colors, and I believe this is using moto paints, which is cool because I have a ton of them. You just get some more info, some 3D layout of how the parts are all put together. You get some information over here, the Iwata HPC Plus and the Architect, how they look so similar. And I didn't pay any attention to this, but how, how the airbrush uh, is actually assembled and how the ship is assembled. It's an interesting concept. Over here, you get more of the body. This looks like the engine part back here. There are a lot of clear pieces, like frosted clear pieces that go through here. Nine and 10, more assembly. Uh, it is kind of cool how they have like, so these pieces are brown and they are actually brown on the runner. So they are technically color instructions. 13 and 14, the engine assembly and then the base and how to put your cord and then you get your back. Now you will notice there's a piece floating over here and it came off of one of the runners. So we'll go through the things that I always end up forgetting. Uh, in the little box was a, a USB. It's a micro USB, no USB-C. Uh, it is a flat cable and it's probably about three feet long or so. You do get this little packet and it has uh, your LED strips. You have, this is the, going to be the rod for the base and I am interested to see how this ends up looking uh, once it's all put together. Your first runner is going to be runner A and this is going to be in a gray color. In the camera it looks like a light gray. It's actually a medium gray and it is kind of a matte color. Technically you don't really need to paint but I, I would paint it at least give it some washes and things like that to bring out the details because there are a lot of details on here. Lots of little piping, panel lines, things like that. This would look really good weathered all to hell. Runner B1 is going to be in that same gray and you've got just more details. And over here, you're going to see it says uh, Arnest Iwata, Architect Iwata. So you do get your branding. It's on here. It's small. 
All right, runner C, this is going to be in a dark gray. Looks like some engine parts, core parts, some detail parts on here. Runner D, this is going to be in a chocolate brown, and this is going to be just some detail parts that go around the ship just to accent it, I guess. Runner E, this is probably going to be one of the bigger runners that's in here, and you get your base. You get lots of little details. Uh, there's a lot of round parts in this because it's pretty much a round kit. And the loose piece that I have over here actually came from over here. Now in the camera, it's looking uh, kind of gunmetal-ish, but it, this is a, a super dark gray over here. It's not black, but it's a super dark gray. Great color. Last runner is going to be runner F, and these are in a frosted white clear, or frosted clear, however you want to end up saying it. And these are going to be what transmit your light throughout the kit. This one's going to be for the base, and then, of course, all throughout the kit. So in closing, you get USB, LEDs, six runners, and an instruction manual. Now, I'm not sure that this is the first company to do a kit of some sort. I think I remember there was a resin kit at one point uh, that was in the shape of an airbrush. Um, but I mean, this kind of piqued my interest when it ended up coming out. I started seeing more people working on it. I was like, uh, that kind of tickles my fancy. It's not going to be super big. I think it's only like nine inches, maybe 10 inches long total. Uh, we will have to see. Uh, so it's not going to take up a bunch of real estate in your cabinet or on your shelf. I do like the fact that it is USB powered and not battery operated. We're going to have to see. I have heard that some of the wiring is a little finicky, but luckily we have all the things if we need to re-solder anything because a couple of people had wires come loose. We can fix that if that ends up happening. If you want to see more videos like this and you want to see this all completed, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Remember, robotkai.com, use code SENPAIHOBBY, all in caps, all in one word, for 10% off anything over on the site. And do definitely keep an eye open over there because they are getting in Bandai kits and a lot of them. So I will be picking up some of those for you guys. I'll see you guys all in the next video. And as usual, Senpai out.